Yeah, no, that move. To like beat Zelda, you need to know how the night works. That's the big thing right there. Mm -hmm. Amen to that, my friend. But hey, look at that. We got ourselves another Diddy Kong, ladies and gentlemen, in 8-bit man out here. Surprised he's not playing Rob. He's allowed to. Yeah. Like, Rob did make his debut in Brawl, so... But, but he, he's trying to play uh, one of his other characters. Yeah. And damn, playing PT. Wow. This I was not expecting. Th these guys are really sticking to the Brawl trope. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Like, they, it, it's like, I, this guy... This is Time RDM, right, New England? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, so he plays freaking He plays Pikachu! You play one of the best characters in the game, my dude, you're allowed, but no, he is sticking to that theme through and through, yeah, playing both, both the raw players, newcomer. Both players have their character main, but now play, choosing to play secondaries, and I'm just going to say, it looking pretty strong. Yeah. Yeah, so far, this is a pretty tight neutral between both of these players, but for the most part, DM doing a better job of, at the very least, getting that damage on. Retaining stage control is going to be a whole nother thing, though, however, because that platform is at the left, and therefore DM was able to make his way back. He would have been stuck at ledge for, I think, another, like, 10 seconds if we were playing on the normal smash. Look at this! I'm yeah. so not... I'm not used to this, man. It's not like a yet. blast from the past. It really is, man. But hey, return to subspace, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. And good job from 8-Bit, just managing to ledge trap with Diddy. I know he does pick up Diddy, or play Diddy in other events mm -hmm. in the singles, if he does not fill it with the Rob. Indeed, my friend, indeed. He played up. Oh, uh, unfortunately, he's clipping the edge of that with the rocket barrel pack right there. Not able to whip out another one. Too much uh, too much uh, lag stuck in the free fall, I suppose. That's the... D oh, my... D what are you, a Ganon player? Hey, he just might be. Diddy's... Diddy's brolic. <laughs> <laughs> the full pun intended. <laughs> full pun intended, yeah, but... I was gonna say, it's just interesting that both these guys are sticking to that theme. I mean, 8 Man did play Diddy in, uh, what do we call it, in Smash 4, as Diddy was essentially the better version of Rob in that game, and now the complete opposite is true. Yeah. Well, funny enough. But hey, I mean, he's out here showing you what the Diddy Kong can do, sticking truly and firmly to the Brawl theme, and now the stock situation is completely reversed with 8 Man up in stocks instead, Player 4. Yeah, and 8 just, and also having all the percent, by the way. It's just yes. hitting him. And surprisingly, DM opts to stick to Squirtle even at the high percent. Squirtle being one of the three lightest characters in the game. It, uh, is he really? Yeah. That's actually that's really an astute reminder. I appreciate that. I'm pretty sure it's like, you know, Pichu, Puff, and Squirtle. I forgot yeah, it's very that's, far down that's, there. That's, that's all three. All right. Bottom three. Bo bottom three, at least in one regard. <laughs> Having a hard time killing each other though, as I commentators as Game and, and Game and Watch, I think is bottom five, right? Yeah, Game Watch. Oh yeah. my god. Pikachu's heavier than Fox. Is your daily reminder? It's <laughs> your daily reminder of that. But yeah, we're down to last stock already. These guys have gone. They've been going tit for tat throughout this entire set. Like whenever one of them takes the stock, it has not been very long until the other one has reset it immediately afterwards. But ooh. Pivot up tilt combos with Diddy. We got those. Yeah, I'm for back throw combos. We got those. Squirtle okay, no, side bees. We got those. No, I'll be to dodge it. <laughs> what? There's a lot of shenanigans going on. I, are they pretending spot dodges are worse? No. They're they pretending. They are. They think they're playing brawl. <laughs> I'm telling you. All the kinds of spot dodges does not exist. No, not a thing. Definitely not but, true. But those rolls do. Like, w wake up. You were dreaming. <laughs> what, COVID? Bro, come on. It's time to watch Top 8 Frostbite. Alright. Okay. Great spot dodge to avoid the grab right there. Definitely a committal option on the part yeah. of 8 Man for sure. Oh no! Oh, I yeah. thought he was going for the down air. Yeah, no, the down air is not true at that percent. Yeah, I thought he was going to try to mix him up with it, though. It was like a DI mix up, you know, like rather than like D. Because he was going to catch him DIing in for the back throw, and why, yeah, no. that's why he went for the down throw instead. You you, you know what it is. You, you know, I, I, know. You know. I understand. You know how it is. You've been around these parts. Stuck on the Zard, though. Big character, going to yeah. survive a little bit longer. A little heavier, yeah, it, though. You got to use this situation. And DM does not main this character, so. This could be a bit of unfamiliarity with him. Oh, missing the balloon. <laughs> I forgot about the balloon, which actually has a genuine purpose. You know, hitting that balloon does count as a hit on the stale negation chart. So if there's a move that you are trying to have in your repertoire to have less knockbacks, a little combo better, but you can't hit your opponent, 
You can go ahead and hit that balloon for that. That is something that was taken away with Hazardless Smashville over an Ultimate, as well as taking away DM's hopes and dreams for winning that first game in 8-Bit, man. Dancing for joy, taking the first one. Let's take a look at these replays, Player 4. Yeah. Cool, Edgy. And you can definitely see the unfamiliarity from the DM's Charizard. Mm -hmm. It's not a character he plays that often. Uh, if one, he does play Trainer. D looks like he did does play a bit of Ivysaur and Venusaur. Or, not well, Venusaur. And Squirtle. But, not much Zard, it seems like. Yeah. Picture Beast, except the exact opposite of Beast. <laughs> Instead of having, like, the solo Zard. No Zard. Squirtle and no Zard. You got the, the Squirtles out here instead, which is Beastly to uh, use Pokemon for sure. Yeah. Dash attack right there, into the up air. Yeah, and I really like I like that punish right there. With punishing the banana pool. Because then he's in so much lag right after. That he is. If you've got the range, if you got the disjoints, that's all. Ooh. 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 Well, as people forget. He was in, he's only in two games. Mm hmm I was going to say, this man took a bit of a vacation, didn't he? Yeah, and one of them was Brawl. <laughs> mm hmm And Wolf wasn't that, he wasn't half bad. Nah, Wolf was Either. pretty decent. Bro. Yeah. I mean, as far as decent went in Brawl, like, there were a lot of characters in that game who would have been able to do stuff had it not been for just Meta Knight and Ice Climbers existing, of course. And if that hadn't been the case, Wolf definitely would have been a little higher on the list than he was. But other yeah. than that, Wolf still had some pretty solid stuff to him as well. His Nair was different. He had weather... Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh that's rude. Hey. That's rude. Hey, Pit man, come on. You don't, hey, gotta, you don't gotta taunt this man like that, but I mean, hey. Uh, yo, you taunt your way to victory. I guess so. Because look at look at these back airs now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, speaking of back airs, if he landed that one, that would have been stock for sure. You definitely know he's going to be fishing for a uh, strong move this time around. Down smash, back air, you know the drill. Falling neutral, what's he going to point out? This is something that Wolf definitely couldn't do in Brawl as well. You see all these fishing nares he's going for. He didn't have the sex kick nair that he did back in that game. He had that little uh, that little flip one where he like put himself into a ball. It was actually a multi-hit that was more of a combo move than anything else rather than... Oh the, my god. Oh, nice. Ape-Bit wanted his soul. <laughs> he, he did right there. Got him on the moving platform as well. Can't blame the moving platform for that that time around, though. That had nothing to do with, like, the actual shifting of the platform. They were just both happened to be on it at the same time, you know? Yeah, no, I definitely... No. He just hard right attack option and DM just neutral get up. And now DM, DM now has control of this game and game's basically almost even. Yeah, when you have Wolf with the control of the stage, it just becomes so much harder to do anything else. He's just got so many hitboxes and buttons that are frankly better than yours, no matter almost what character you're playing as in that game. Did he throw out an option right there if he decided to go for an attack? That neutral air would have beat it anyway, because it's, Wolf, it's Wolf's neutral air. Beats out most of the moves in this game, and so you know you know when you're the one who has to approach Wolf. It's going to be that much harder when he's got hitboxes that will just flat out beat yours, you know? Yeah. Oh! Ooh. Oh my god, that was so close. Ugh, crazy stuff right here on the return to subspace stream for sure, ladies and gentlemen. Looking good. Both these guys swinging for the fences right now. Yeah. Ape-Bit Man a little too much, though. Dash attack and a take it for DM. Okay. Dash attack. It's pushing him off. And DM, now for having the first lead he's had of the set, Mm. I'm liking the standard wolf play. Oh my god, the weight! You might, some people would have thought that was a chain grab if it was a different game. Yeah, this wolf is turning it on right now. I don't know if he realized he couldn't the second time. He went for the boom. That for is, the boom. That, why would you want to make that move weaker? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Whatever, yeah, though. Yeah. That is two times DM. Side being off the level, Reggie. Yeah, he, he went for the style. I guess so. That's that very interesting, I suppose. But if he loses this game because of it, it's going to be a real tragedy. I do believe we are still in best of three territory, if I'm not mistaken. Unless all of top eight is best of five. Yeah. Only yeah, top, top three. Thank you, my friends. I appreciate you uh, laying that information on me once again. So yeah, if DM loses this, he's going to fall down to the loser's bracket. Not something you want for sure, as Diddy with banana in hand. Just having a hard time ledge trapping this Diddy. He's kind of holding in on it. 
whenever he finds his way back up to the level. And you don't want to be doing that against a Diddy Kong with a banana in hand. You want to pick your options and have him be a little more calculated or just throw a pot shot of your transcendent projectile out there instead, <laughs> Reggie. You got yeah. that too. Uh, and there we go. The banana in top smash is taking it. Taking game two. Mwah. That's one of the moves. Also. <laughs> one of the moves that actually was similar to what Wolf had in Brawl. Wolf, they changed a lot of his moves from this game over to that one, but this up smash got a lot of buffs, but it's the same move it was before that flip kick, which was, I do believe, fun fact, actually modeled off of Sonic's yeah. up air, if I'm not mistaken. They Is actually it? recycled. It might've been the other way around, actually. I don't remember, but one of their moves was based off the other. Wolf was a very last minute addition to the game. Very last minute. Yeah, so was Sonic though. So yes. Sonic was the last character. Mm -hmm. That's why he has really few animations. Mm -hmm. to the game exactly. also the reason why he got delayed the last time mm -hmm. also why he's only in the last cutscene yeah. for uh for subspace you know as, uh, as well but so i know some that? of their moves were borrowed from each other's and so i believe wolf's up smash has like similar tendencies animation wise with sonic's up air you know like that little that yeah. scissor that scissor kick the little you know? scissor kick yeah 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 just laying some brawl fun facts on you right there because you know sure. we're all about we're all about brawl here at return to subspace because that's where we are in case you forgot only on the House of 3000 stream being brought to you as part of the Pandemic series from the Collision series events, as well as sponsored by MetaView as well, House of 3K. You all know the drill in case of where you are. We're taking you down a little trip down memory lane this time around, me and Reggie gonna do for you right here to the great game of Super Smash Brothers Brawl. It was for a system called the uh, Nintendo Wii. Yeah. It was mm, kind of a gimmick console yeah. at the beginning. Hold, hold that thought, because we're going into game three, my friend. Mm -hmm. This set is not over just yet. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me of yeah. that. In fact, my friend, yeah, we are at game number three. <clears throat> and all right, we see the stick one with the wolf and the Diddy. Yeah, looking like that's the case, DM. Happy with his counter pick right here. Still no Pikachu sticking true to the uh, sticking true to the brawl newcomers right here. Instead, makes sense, you know. That's honorable to say as well. You know, he's saying, I don't want to play one of the best characters. I mean, he's playing Wolf, who was also one of the best characters in the game. But Pikachu is a contender for best. And he doesn't want to do that in the Brawl. Yeah. Subs, in, the, in the Brawl. He wants, the brawl he, wants to play, he wants to play secondary. He wants to practice them. Yeah. It doesn't always have to be about Pika. Beautiful. Look, look at him. Look you at see him. That? You see that side beyond that balloon? You don't got that spacing. You don't have that spacing watching this. Anticipating the banana. Oh, God. I, I like the shenanigans. I love the shenanigans on. myself. I love them too, my friend. Late Nair is definitely some shenanigans as well, for ultimate or not. Definitely gonna catch Diddy scooping. And speaking of scoops, we got the Hagen Dazs right there trying to get the balloon again. Yeah. <laughs> with the side beat. He really has a personal vendetta. He's jumping. He, he really, to it. <laughs> he really has a vendetta against that thing, Reggie. That balloon is safe for another day. Yeah, not for long. It's gonna come back eventually. Oh my god, all those rolls to edge. Definitely reminded me of some 2008 gameplay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm actually loving how a lot of these guys are trying to play specifically Brawl newcomers and are doing a lot of Brawl-esque options. And you're focusing on taking out the balloon as well. They're really getting into like the spirit of the event, which yeah. I as a commentator and as a spectator myself, very much appreciate. He's literally, he's not edge guarding. Yeah. He's only <laughs> going for the balloon. He really wants the balloon, man. <laughs> this is so oh, No, he's dead! That... Reggie! He just messed up, man. No, I'm not even just laughing at Ape. TM's like... He's literally fighting the balloon half the time, man. You love to see it, but hey. Ain't no balloon in sight right now until it comes back. Instead, I gotta say, when that balloon isn't around, he actually is going pretty ham on these yeah. combos against Ape, man. He has what? turned it on. The wolf counter pick is working. Yeah, he wants to go hit the balloon and then proceed to hit Ape Man with a Nair. Dude. But he's up a full stock, and so this is not looking good for Ape Man. Gear was yeah. about to be in Winter's Finals. So. Yeah, it keeps going this way. He's got banana in hand now. This is huge. But I, I See, the thing is, it's that I'm nervous because I don't even know if he's going to maintain stage control with it. Or is he going to the balloons off of the table now? Or if he was just going to use, like, the banana to take out the balloon. That's what I thought was going to happen. 
There you go. He's got it on deck again, trying to space himself to get around the monkey flip of the platform, not retreating its way back to the stage in time for that just yet. And yeah, this is looking really bad, Reggie. Up a full stock, lapping him in percent as well, getting him up to 136. And Wolf's got some powerful hitboxes, my friend. Ape Man's yeah. got to turn it on and do something now if he wants any chance at winning this. Oh, well, DM might just give it to him. Yeah. See? I just... I... I don't know what... I, I'm Ape Man just I'm has to wait for another blue. There okay. you go. All right. Hit him, got him with the Charlie Brown. It's good. Mm. Field goal. Snoopy, no! <laughs> Snoopy, no. God, what was her name? Um, God, Lucy, such a monster, man. Yeah. And also Charlie Brown, pretty stupid, falling for it multiple times. That's why he's not in Smash yet. He's just too dumb. Didn't pass the acceptance test. Well, right here, is. though, 